Good morning, I am en route back to the Appalachian Trail this morning. So the plan is today is I am going to slack pack 19 miles. So I have my running vest, I am going to get the 19 miles done as quick as I can and then my aunt is gonna join me for about three miles and then she is going to camp in the woods with me. So we're getting her into backpacking, we're getting her comfortable, so three miles with her backpack gives her a nice easy afternoon and a lot of time at camp to set that up so figured that was a good plan. I just got to the trailhead and I'm gonna wait for a stretch to arrive because he was at a campground last night with his family so it was pretty cool that our families visited the same day but we plan to start today's hike at the same time. There's horseshoe, there's a shower, and a really cool shelter. Normally it's just like a barn with like a fire pit. <laughs> Sounds like Wildcat, huh? Oh yeah, I've never met getting scared of the train. Yeah. So what's down here? Mazda's Confederate. Base and operate the Confederate. Artisan. It's like we have a seat ticket. You gonna take it up then? Yeah. You gonna take it? You should. So it is about 2.15 in the afternoon right now. I wanna say I've hiked 14 miles so far. I hiked a lot of it with Stretch and his brother who is visiting for a couple days, but I just started walking ahead of them. His brother has been out here for one day and he's already doing I think 19 miles, so that's great for him. I'm letting them take breaks. I'm gonna head on. I am meeting my mom at 3.30. She's gonna bring some Gatorade and she's bringing my pack because after I meet her, I'm gonna do an extra three miles with my aunt so I can set up camp and sleep at the shelter tonight. That's the shelter that I'm gonna end up at tonight, 8.2 miles away. All right, getting close to the road. So I think my mom should be up there somewhere. I asked her to bring me a Gatorade, so I'm really excited for that. I've been using this water bladder all day today, and it's just plain water in there. And I'm not used to that. I usually have a lot of drink mixes and electrolytes throughout the day, so I'm craving something different. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, on trail with my backpack, <laughs> doing the three miles to the Rod Hollow shelter. And my aunt's with me. made it to the Rod Hollow Shelter and go down this little side trail to get there. All right, got my tent set up. There's these little like tent platforms, different than the whites. When in the whites, the tent platforms are like wooden platforms, but this is just like a square of dirt. The only thing is like, there's a lot of rocks under the dirt. So the stakes were kind of tricky to get in, but I managed. Carrie got her tent set up. She did a very good job, I didn't even have to help. So while my mom's in town, I thought it would be a good opportunity to test out some new gear. So if I don't like it, I can just send it back with her. So I'm testing out a foam sleeping pad. I don't know how I like it. I'm not expecting to get the greatest night's sleep, but I really wanna get my own opinion on that. 
We got lasagna on the menu for tonight. Carrie, what are you having over there? Mexican style veggie bowl with rice and beans. Nice. <laughs> Just did a couple of really good stretching YouTube videos and I'm feeling really good right now. I think I needed a full body stretch. That was my first time using one of those and it's a lot easier than throwing a rock over a branch and hanging your food that way.